guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome to The Kathy Show. So Dance Moms is 10 years old this year, and I thought that it would be kind of fun if I answered your questions. So, without further ado, let's go! A viewer would like to know, how were you treated by the producers on Dance Moms? So, how was I treated by the producers? Well, it's funny because my mom, who was very involved in always being around what was happening and what was being filmed, would say that they all had the handbook on how to be nice. Um, I thought that the producers really tried to be super, super polite and super nice, and I really did not have any problems with them because I did my job. Overall, I felt that I was treated very well by them. They were nice, they were polite. I still have a relationship with some of them that I can talk to them. Um, you know, they'll reach out to me at times. Uh, how are you doing? Happy birthday, Merry Christmas, whatever. But don't let it kid you. They had an agenda and their agenda was to cause drama. Another question, what was your favorite dance to this day? I have a quite a few favorite dances. Um, I'm gonna go all the way back to season two when Kendall was briefly visiting the Candy Apples and we did a beautiful lyrical dance where the girls were angels and they had candles and Vivi was depicting a little girl who in the end died and the angels were picking her up and taking her off to heaven. I really loved that dance. I also liked in season two, the Spanish dance that we came out very strong. And um, that was our first, that was our first time back filming with me being the nemesis. I loved the fieriness of that. My, one of my all time favorites is will work for, uh, will dance for money, which was Machine Line, and that was choreographed by John Culbertson, and I love that, all the boys. But probably the one that's the most near and dear to my heart is when Vivi got her citizenship, and we did the patriotic dance, and she came running in with the flag, and there was a voiceover with her saying that today she became a citizen. So that was probably the top of my pyramid. Do you still have the black bag that you hit Abby with? Were all of your fights with Abby scripted? Did you actually donate the V the V costume to Goodwill? No, I do not still have the handbag. And that handbag was about this big and it was black patent leather. It had a round insignia of it that was a B depicting the queen bee, which I thought was very appropriate for me. And it was a purse or a handbag that was designed by a company called My Flat in London. I don't even know if they're still in existence, but no longer do I have that. Um, the bee costume was not donated to the Goodwill. That was just to get Abby rattled. And uh, she got the bee costume back on the Rosie O'Donnell show. Um, our fights, were they scripted? They were never scripted. They were always um, provoked. But uh, the things that Abby and I said back and forth to each other, we were just that good. And a uh, final question uh, was... What? The jerky commercial. The jerky commercial. The jerky commercial episode got pulled. And I honestly, I can't even tell you why. It had to do with music rights or because the girls were dancing with fans and people thought they were naked. The the ALDC girls had something to do with that. I don't remember, but it was, it was frustrating for us because we loved the fact that the jerky, the jerky was getting um, an actual nationwide commercial that we didn't have to pay for. Which ALDC dancer would you have loved to have on your team at your studio? Everybody that participated on Dance Moms, whether they were on the Candy Apple team or they were on the Abby team, were talented. So to say that, oh, I wanted you or you wanted her or whatever would, would really be difficult because the girls and boys that participated were all talented. And many of them um, 
particularly the boys, have went off and now have dance careers. So I'm extremely proud of them. Um, of course, we loved to love Chloe because she was the underdog. But I always made it very vocal and known that I felt that Kalani was a superb dancer. So if I really had to answer the question, I would probably say that Kalani would have been my pick. How many hours a week were you actually being filmed? So our typical work week when we were filming was that Mondays we were dark. And that meant that, you know, we didn't have to do anything that day. Tuesday, if they were filming here, Tuesday morning, I would come to the studio around 11 o'clock, maybe 10, 10 or 11 o'clock. I would go into makeup and the producers would come in and brief me on what was happening for the day. Now, I want to interject because when the show first started, it wasn't like this. They became a very well-oiled machine that it got to this point. So these are the latter years of how our schedule would go. So uh, they would come in and brief me, tell me what was going on. They might say to me, you know, you're gonna get a phone call from Jill and um, at such and such a time, make sure that you have your phone available, you know, things like that. Um, around 2.30, they would start to wrap up. So you see the kids rehearsing, but in reality, the kids had a very small window to learn the dance. They would go home or not, well, in Pittsburgh, they'd go home. Here at Candy Apples, they would go back to the hotel and then they would rehearse later on in the evening, which I was never able to do that because at 2.30, I was in the car going to pick Vivi up at school if she wasn't filming that day. And then at 3.30, 4 o'clock, my day would begin with real life teaching and I would get done around 9 and have to go home and make sure that Vivi had her bath and had, you know, her homework done and, and dinner and all of that. So I was never able to go over to the hotel and rehearse with them. And that is why there was always a choreographer because I couldn't do all of that. But that would happen Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then Friday would be the day that we would travel to wherever we were going. And Saturday would be the filming of the competition, which would sometimes last anywhere from 8.30 in the morning till five o'clock at night, depending on how much content they needed and how the competition went. Did Vivi actually like dancing on the show? Uh, Vivi was really, really little. And when I look back at Vivi's time on Dance Moms, um, I was being a really hard mom because I was looking at her and comparing her ability to Brooke and, you know, Chloe and Maddie, and they were older than her. And when I look at the things that Vivi accomplished at our studio and the routines that Vivi danced in, she was dancing hard routines for being such a little, a little girl. And um, Vivi has never disliked dance. She's always liked to dance. She still dances today. Is Vivi driving yet? Uh, no, Vivi is not driving. And every time we ask her if she wants to drive, she, mm -mm. I don't know if it's because she witnesses my road rage. Maybe it frightens her. I don't know, but she's just not interested at the moment. And I never got my license until I was in my twenties also. So. I, you know, with everything you have to worry about, texting and, and crazy people on the highway, when she's ready to drive, she'll drive. What inspired you to start coaching dance? Well, I think that I was teaching dance. Coaching came later um, and I've danced all my life. So from the time that I was three, I have been involved in a dance studio. So, um, you know, I always said that I was gonna own a dance studio. I just kind of followed my dreams. Do you ever talk to any of the moms? I talk to a lot of the moms. I talk to ALDC moms and I talk to Candy Apple moms. Um, one of the Candy Apple moms that I'm extremely close with is uh, Melanie, which was Haley's mom. Melanie was the one with the crazy blonde hair. We just spent 
uh, a couple weeks ago. We just spent some time with her at an amusement park in our area, Cedar Point. I talked to Melissa and I talked to Christy. Christy just reached out to me last week and kind of spewed some things to me on Instagram. So all of the things that have been said to Christy, um, she's been a good sport as well as I've been a good sport with her jabs and we're, we're good friends. Are you and Abby friends? Well, if you have not seen Abby's YouTube channel, I recommend that you go and do your research and find the YouTube where we rekindle. It is the reunion of the century and Abby and I are very pleasant with each other. So everybody, I love the fact that you've sent questions. I know that there are loads more questions out there and I know that you are all just dying to know the ins and outs and the back door of Dance Moms via Kathy, Kathy's opinion. But for now, I think I've given you enough tidbits that you can chomp on. And uh, you know, I hope that you like and subscribe my channel and come back next week for part two. More questions and more juicy details about Dance Moms. Bye.